Hello YouTube, my name is Nick, and today I have a game of Domination on Favela using everyone's favorite Domination. gun, the AK-47. Um, it is silenced, and I have a Spaz-12 with grip as my secondary weapon. The perks I am using are Scavenger Stopping Power Ninja, Capture got some Claymore Stun Grenades, and the Predator Harrier Chopper Gunner setup, as you can see on the edge of the screen um, beside the gameplay. Um, today I'm going to be talking about... Um, some pro tips, some things that uh, helped me to get better in the game, and some things that you can implement in your own gameplay to um, help you quite a bit. Um, today, uh, my topic's gonna be sound whoring, which is, if you're unfamiliar, where you um, have a headset and you listen to like, footsteps and stuff and turn around on people, and people scream hacks and wall hacks and all sorts of lovely hacks. When uh, really you just have a headset and you can hear them coming because they're using commando because that's what people do. Um, so some things that you want to do when you're listening. Um, first off, you want to listen for footsteps. Uh, footsteps are the most important thing that you're going to be hearing. Um, you can tell when someone's flanking you. You can tell when someone's in front of you and you can like stop running or whatever. Um, what else? You can uh, hear guns reloading. It's a faint sound, but you can hear it, and you can tell where the enemy is, and you can catch them off guard, um, shoot them while they're reloading. They have no bullets in their gun, they can't shoot you. It's a really good idea to do that. Um, silenced weapons. When you hear a silenced weapon with a headset, you can hear exactly which direction it is. You can hear them basically across the map. Um, so, that definitely helps. Headsets help to hear lots of things. Um, Knives. Uh, I actually have a neat little strategy for hearing knives, um, or for telling where knifers are. When you hear um, a knife, which you can, you can hear a knife within like 30, 40 feet of um, a knife being used. So you hear your teammate get knifed. Um, first thing you want to do is you look at your map and you look for the green triangle to disappear because it uh, won't disappear right away. But it, uh, it'll disappear like a second after, so as soon as you hear that knife, you want to look at your map, look for the green triangle, triangle that disappeared, and since a, a knife's range is only like 50, or sorry, 5 feet, um, you'll be able to tell, you know, basically where the knifer is within like 5 or 10 feet, and um, sometimes you'll be, able, you'll be able to tell just by looking at the map which direction they're going in, so you can kind of like tell where they're going to be. And um, since they're likely to be using commando, then uh, you'll be able to hear them too. So um, you, can, you can take out knifers. I've, I've developed quite an anti-knifer strategy over the over the hours of playing this game because um, knives are a lot of my deaths. A lot of times I get close quarters and I don't knife like ever. So um, I get knifed a lot because you know it's it's kind of like an overpowered. Um, technique but I guess everybody has it so um, kind of balances out but uh, if you don't knife then you're kind of at a disadvantage in close quarters uh, I do think knives are kind of ridiculous but uh, yeah back to my listening what else can you hear um claymores uh, if you you hear a claymore which you can you can hear a claymore fa fairly easily um, makes a fairly distinct uh, sound so when you hear a claymore being placed, look on the map uh, for your teammates, and if you see your teammate um, near you within a reasonable range, you can kind of assume it's your teammate. Um, you, you don't always want to make assumptions, like if you're near a kill streak or whatever, but um, you try and assume. There, I heard that guy's footsteps. I heard him running around to my right because um, two uh, speakers headset goes on each ear kind of like here left and right really easily it's really easy to tell that kind of direction so yep um claymores you can hear um kill streaks you can hear kill streaks um in uh, the fact that um you pull out the little remote when you call in uavs and counter uavs so when you hear somebody calling a counter uav or a uav you know they're kind of vulnerable um i kind of hate calling the UAVs because it takes so long in this game to like pull out the little remote and call it in, put it away and take their gun back out. And it's just, um, yeah, you got like a good five seconds of uh, somebody not being able to shoot so you can just run up to them. Um, sometimes I, you, it even feels like I hear people spawn. 
It's almost like when you spawn, you're like drop three feet or something, and you just make like a teeny little noise or whatever. <laughs> I have no clue whether or not you actually make a sound when you spawn, but like I swear I hear people spawn sometimes, and I can just like turn on them and kill them, or I don't notice it and they kill me somehow, or. Maybe it doesn't make a noise at all and I'm just like insane or something or have like a spidey sense that tingles when people just spawn near me. I don't know. I wish it worked more often. Um, you're probably wondering what kind of headset you should get and um, I can't really offer the greatest advice because uh, I've only ever used the Turtle Beach X31. Um, that is the headset I use. It's a wireless headset made by Turtle Beach. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it costs between $100-$150, so it's a um, good option, it has the mic built in, you have a good mic, so pe people don't have to hear you echo or whatever, and um, it plays your voice into the speakers so you can like hear yourself talk. Um, the reason a headset works is because um, it basically uh, cancels out all uh, background noise. You only hear the sound that's played through the headsets, and that allows you to hear the faint sounds like footsteps that would usually be overpowered by loud gunshots or explosions and stuff like that. So um, that's basically why it works. Uh, surround sound doesn't really work as well. I've tried it a couple times, and you just can't hear the footsteps. Like just just because you can tell what direction the sounds are coming from doesn't mean you can like tell where footsteps are, because if you can't hear the footsteps in the first place, knowing what direction they're coming from isn't really helpful. So, um, yeah. It's kind of like, sounds like a commercial for headsets by the Turtle Beach X31. But no, I'm not at all being, like, paid or anything to do this. I'm just saying the headsets are are quite, quite helpful if you want to get better at this game. It's, um, one of the few things I've done to improve my game quite a bit. And, um, yeah. So, the game's wrapping up, um, I've been doing quite a bit of spawn trapping and spawn rushing and spawn camping or however you want to call it. I've been killing people as they spawn or within a short time period of them spawning I shoot them with bullets because bullets hurt and that's how you kill people in Modern Warfare. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna lie, you don't kill people with bullets too often in Modern Warfare 2. Um, anyways, the end of the game, uh, final score, 53 kills, 3 deaths, pretty good. Um, but stay tuned, bonus clip of me sound horning some guy. Um, playing some Skid Row, rushing with my shotgun, because that's what I like to do on Skid Row. Um, come in, get a kill, see some scrambler, turn around, and footsteps, shoot the guy in the face, get a chopper gunner. Probably wouldn't have gotten that chopper gunner if I hadn't had my headset. Uh, gonna play it louder here. Charlie. That's all I have for now. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see some more or check out some of the videos on my channel. Um, see you guys later. Bye. And by bye, I mean you should buy a Turtle Beach headset. I swear I'm not being paid.